What's up, Better Days? Today, I'm at Betty's Island Access. There's a couple subscribers right there taking off. They were really cool. This is where I'm setting up for the night. I'm going to try to pull some trout out of here and use them for bait and catch some striped bass. There it is. There it is. Let's try to guess a trout for bait. All right. What are we gonna throw in here? Let's throw this worm. You can catch trout with a lot of different stuff. I like to throw a worm when I'm first starting out somewhere. In my experience, it gets a quick bite. All right. So we're gonna get us a bait fish and the worms didn't work out. So I put on a rooster tail. That immediately worked. Oh, but it's not a bait fish. Look, you guys. It's a brown trout. No point in even getting him out of the water. Can't keep brown trout. They gotta be two feet long. 24 inches. We're looking for rainbow trout. We're looking for rainbow trout, not brown trout. Got one. Wow, this is fun. I didn't really need to go striped bass fishing. You could just stand here and trout fish. Let's see what he is. Looks like the right thing. He looks like the right thing. He is. Okay. There's our first bait fish of the day. Let's get him up to our bait bucket. That's a rainbow trout, that's what we're after. Oh, no. Oh no. There we go. Great, great bait. Now I've got another brown trout here. That's not what you want, but man, it's really pretty. But that's not what we're after. Rainbows only, please. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, so we already caught one bait fish and he jumped out of this bucket and swam, well, cr crawled over to the river. So we have a second bait fish here, but it's really, it's only our first one. Cause he jumped out of here and then he got away. All right, I've got another tiny rainbow trout. This is number two in the bucket. Oh, we gotta get him in the bucket first. Don't say it's number two until it's in there. I think we're gonna make it. We're real close. We didn't make it. <laughs> I got him, I got him. All right. I got two in there. All right, number three in typical Better Days fashion, right in the lower lip. He hit my worm and power ball right, oh, doggone it. He is a wriggler. He got it stuck right in the lower lip. Ooh, it came right out too. Cool, so now we have three. Oh, please stop. All right, guys, this is the fun part. There we go, I got one. Oh, I said I had one, I dropped him. <laughs> My buddy Reese came out here and joined me. We've got four little rainbow trout. Where we go. There we go. We've got them hooked up. All right. So here's the setup. We've got 25 pound Berkeley Trilene Big Game with a one ounce weight and then a, a short leader with a big hook. 
Check out how awkward this is. So you wanna really set this drag really loose. You want that thing to settle down out there. You got a heavy rock in the seat to hold the chair in place. And we're gonna put a heavy rock on the back of the pole to hold the pole in place. And we're gonna really loosen that drag to where the slightest pull pulls on that drag. There we go. And now we're gonna set a little bell on there. Make it even more sensitive to a bite. There we go. There it is. There it is. Let him have it. Crank down on this. Still there, he's still there. Oh, he broke his mouth. 25 pound test. That was a big one. Did you see it? Yeah, it's huge. He broke us off. I think I'm excited. It broke at the line. It broke right at the hook. That's not, that's not how we do it. That's not what you want to do. 25 pound, snapped. Okay, we've got a modified setup here. Reese suggested a drop shot, so here's the weight at the end, and here's the trout in the middle. And we're gonna try not to lose this next one. kind of got swept, like it didn't get pinned out there in the center. Mm -hmm. Kind of got swept to the side. I'm gonna have to reset it. So uh, I just registered my new car and I didn't know about all like the custom plates you could get. It's on, it's on like dog. This is crazy. Crazy, dude. Here, come here. It's already cranked down. We'll see. I hope the last one did. Laying like that. This is 
is crazy, you guys. I just had my first hit. Bam! Damn! <laughs> it wasn't even me, but man, like uh, it was just a train wreck in the center of the river. Uh, it's like you hit a snag. Yes, like I hit a tree. But I've been standing in the same spot, casting in the same spot over and over. There is no tree. Just gonna wait for one to come through. Oh, got it. Got it. That's the same one. That's the same one. That's the same one. Oh, he's going down. Don't let him. Don't let him. He's already in the other line. You can't let him go down. Oh, broke me off. He broke him off. Oh my gosh. He broke him off. We were throwing cotton cordell red fins, and that was the big one, right? Yeah. That's 50. What do you got? 17 pound test on there? Yeah. Broke it off like it was. What he broke it like a pretzel. Broke it like a pretzel stick. Oh my goodness. We're on them tonight. My Oh, it's a small one. You're getting this one in. It's only about a 20 pounder. Walk down to him and crank him up. Crank him up, crank him up, crank him up. Crank him up. Get him up here. Crank him up. I can't touch the line. It'll come out of his mouth. Crank him up on the bank. Crank him up. There you go, you got him. Good job. That's about a 15 pounder. Go ahead and drag him up. That 50 pound line won't break. Go ahead and drag him up. There you go. Oh my goodness. <sighs> my, okay, close your eyes. I'm gonna show people you. This is my buddy Reese. <laughs> he just caught his first ever striped bass. There we go, big old cotton cordell redfin. You're gonna eat this, right? Yeah. Good for you, brother. I'm assuming I can hold him, grab him in his mouth. Yeah, you'll love lipping him. It's just like a big bass. You want a sideways pictures? Uh, or vertical? Whatever you want to do. No, it's what you want. You can do both. It's fine. Okay. Oh, my Remember, this light's going to be in your eyes, so. Okay, now, kind of bend down and then put the fish way out. There we go. Now put the fish down a little so I can see you. There we go. Oh, he's heavy. <laughs> okay. You Hold the fish farther out. There you go. Let me get one more. That's the perfect one right there, actually. Okay, well, we've got to call it a night. It's starting to rain pretty hard, and we only got to fish about an hour into dark, and obviously that's when we finally landed one. We had a bunch of uh, hookups and a couple break-offs. That, 
that doesn't usually happen. We'll definitely upsize our gear before we come back out here to make sure that doesn't happen again. I tell people where to go fishing. This is a great bank fishing spot. If you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a better day.